Okay guys, last video on this motor for a little while. Just wanted to show you the results of some modifications that we've made. I've put an extra two magnets in the rotor, all north out. There's four in total now. The coil, I wanted to get a higher voltage out, so I took the 260 turns off and I've put 600 turns on of 0.6 millimeter gauge wire. Um, that's enabled the voltage to be dropped down to 8 volts, uh, 10 milliamps it's running at at the moment. The battery I flattened out with a spotlight so I could see how well it was charging. Let it sit for a couple of hours, it came up to about 6.8 volts. I've been charging it for about 15 minutes um, and it's come up that far seems to be sitting pretty steady there so I'll hook it back up just so we can see some results 11.59 should come up it's pumping in about 22 milliamps 11.59 volts at the moment the power supply is clicking between 0.01 and 0.02, so that's between 10 and 20 milliamps. I wish it had one more digit on it, but it doesn't. So 8 volts at 20 milliamps, we'll say. And the motor's running along quite nicely. So I'm going to show you what happens when we turn it up 1 volt now. We know an 8 volt supply won't charge a battery to 11.59 no, it's flicking to 11.6 so it is going up on its own so it's definitely getting the radiant energy from the collapsing coil going in as well to lift that voltage up that high but anyway I'm going to lift this up 1 volt on the input oh. Too far. To 9 volts. Now it's lifted it up to 40 milliamps. So 9 volts at 40 milliamps is now going in. And we now have 45 milliamps. 11.6 volts going into the battery so I'm still not sure about this battery load calculation thing but um, so that's all I can tell you that yeah it's pushing in 11.6 volts at 45 milliamps as you can see set on the 50 milliamp scale it's nearly topped out if I go up any higher, I actually have to switch over to 500 milliamp scale because it swings right over off the scale on the needle at 50 milliamps. So 9 volts, 40 milliamps going into the system. I've tried to set the wires out so you can see clearly how it's working. Um, it is as it is set up on the drawing I put on a previous video except for the coil it's got an extra 150 turns on top of the 450 that I suggested to use so and of course nothing hidden underneath making the motor run no compressors or compressed air no fishing lines anywhere around the place turn the power supply off motor stops. Turn it back on, motor starts back up again. So I guess all you can do is try it yourself and see what results you come up with.